Ready. <laughs> Hi, we're from Grainit Technologies and we're going to show how to do a double print on a wood grain molding. And some moldings had two different wood grains on them. They had, uh, like this for instance, is a 39 Packard 180. And it has the burl grain in the center of the garnish and then it has a straight grain on either side of it. So what we did yesterday, we printed the burl and we let the ink dry and now today we're going to show you how to do the straight grain print without harming the burl that's already been printed. Now before we do it, just a couple things to keep in mind. One, you need to let this print dry fully before you do the second print. So normally overnight will do it, but it really depends on weather conditions. Here in Florida, we get it out in the sun, it'll dry overnight, but um, it really depends on the weather. So do a sample piece. Make sure that um, this is dry before you do the second part. Also, it's very important to use the paint that we recommend, and that is DuPont Chroma Base. Other base coats just don't seem to work well, and the ink sometimes won't dry at all on different base coats. So make sure you use the recommended DuPont Chroma Base. Okay, well let's see how it's done. Okay, so okay, so I have my various tools assembled. I have my rollers and paintbrush and so on. I got a couple paper towels here I cut into little squares. And I put my ink on the plate and I squeegeed it. I'm going to just squeegee it again. Get across there. Now I can pick up my pattern my roller. I have it on my roller. I'm just going to come and print right over top of this burl. Kind of pick this up so I can get a good angle on it here. Just like that. Get my blending paper. Oops. Put that down. Wipe this off with my paper towel. It's just plain paper towel, nothing on it. Now I still got some print on here, so I'm going to come back and get this next section. Right here. So, as you can see, I got some of that straight grain on the burl, which is not a problem because the burl's dry. So I'll just get my paper towel, come back, and just wipe it off. that. And I just have to do my blending. Fill in this area. Now I can print the other side. Now I'm going to do the other side. Got my next print. Same thing. Bring it on. paper. Put the next section. This little section. Just like this. And I just wipe off that burl. So there you can see how easy it is to do a double print. Now I'm going to give you a close-up look at this uh, 39 Packard molding. 